It's a thing that a lot of people don't uh, realise that uh, a soldier returning from a war zone uh, does suffer from some sort of stress. Uh, it can affect you in many ways. It can affect your sleep uh, because uh, at that time of night when the subconscious is dropping in, you seem to drop into some of the war zones you've been you've been in and you get flashbacks. Uh, it's very disturbing. Uh, it affects your mood swings as well through the day. Uh, it affects your family. Uh, you get these mood swings uh, that people just don't realise. Gordon, uh, who's our latest young fella from the army, is only 26. He served in Oman uh, where he'd done all his training for Afghanistan and uh, went to Afghanistan. I said he was, he was injured. And Gordon had nowhere to turn when he came out of the army. Absolutely nowhere. The guy was at a loss. In fact, he's, he's told me if it wasn't for coming to us, he would have uh, done himself in. He was on guard duty at one of the, the guard stations uh, in Kabul uh, when the Taliban attacked and they fired a rocket propelled grenade which hit the wall uh, that Gordon was at. He was standing on concrete stairs. The stairs collapsed and Gordon came down about 10 or 12 feet wearing full body armour. Uh, it damaged his right shoulder. His, sh his right shoulder is now about three or four inches lower than the right. He loses the power of uh, his right arm now and again. He gets shooting pains, but most of all, uh, that's the physical part of it, but the mental part is the combat stress. Um, the first while after coming out, I didn't know where to turn to because there wasn't anybody was willing t to even t try to help. Uh, this is where the Armed Forces and Veterans Association comes in and plays their part, you know, when the, when the army have forgotten about them. And this goes on for a lifetime. It's not just a, a one-off thing. Uh, we take care of the guys. Whenever they need anything, we'll be there. We'll be there for them. Um, um, I came in here and things have been getting better since. Um, they have um, got me um, a house they have um, got me onto um, counselling. Um, they have um, um, they have got me back uh, back into normal life again. Really, um, at the start it uh, wasn't easy. Um, um, actually, trying. To get going again, um, as well as coping with all of the mental stress and everything else, it has been difficult. And um, if it hadn't have been for for these, I wouldn't have been able to get back up again, really. We at the Armed Forces and Veterans Association have taken up this challenge where we don't forget what the guys have done. Uh, this is where uh, we get the guys that are suffering from combat stress or from combat related illnesses or wounded or whatever the case may be, we get them a bit of respite. We send them on holiday uh, for two weeks with their family. Uh, it's not only the guy that suffers the wife and the kids and everyone that's near, near and dear to them, their mothers, their fathers, they all suffer, you know, so uh, this is where the Armed Forces and Veterans Association comes in and plays their part. It's taken time, but, and it's going to take a long time, yep, but eventually I will do it.